What's up everybody? What's up Backgammon fans? Mark Olsen here. We're gonna do a little live Q&A today. Or ask me anything about the new Backgammon Galaxy mobile app. And we're gonna play some games. Maybe I'm gonna play against some of you guys. Oh, we have some people in the chat already. Justin Noel. Yo, what's up Justin? Backgammon is beautiful. And Mano. Okay guys, so the live stream has begun. Please say hi in the chat. Please smash the like button. And uh, let's present this new beautiful app of ours. And if you have any questions, we can do questions as well. I'm here to answer it. I think I'm gonna do like 45 minutes or one hour of live stream here. So let's, uh, let's play some games here. Okay, so I have the new Begammon Galaxy app open, um, I'm running the laptop version, which is actually accessible to anybody. You just have to go to play.begammongalaxy.com. So that's where the new app is running. So you can play from laptop. You can't buy coins in the laptop version. So if I'm pressing this, nothing happens. You can only buy coins in the mobile version on either iPhone or Android. Uh, okay, so we have more guys in the chat. What's up, everybody? Uh, let's play a friend actually let's begin by playing a friend so whoever sees my code on the screen can join the game let's see who's faster I'm gonna play a three-point match and uh, let's do speed speed with cube yes create so now one of you guys are probably gonna uh, see the code here <laughs> it's loading and uh, whoever wants to join can join this match. Okay, so there's the key. 5166. Let's see who's faster. And uh, <laughs> whoever joins this game will play me here on the live stream. And it's off, of course, it's analyzed by Extreme Gammon. Uh, okay, so let's see some questions here. Uh, Stephen Hanna says, can't play DMP. Well, that's true, Stephen. Maybe we're gonna add DMPs. But the idea was that we wanted to have the coin games, which is like a single game rather than DMP. So it's a single game, but you just play with a Dublin cube. But we're actually thinking about adding uh, one point matches as well. Um, okay, so we have a. I've played this guy before, Hamza Piol. I've played this guy on the new app. So I wonder who it is. If you can let yourself. Uh, let your identity be revealed in the chat. <laughs> I don't know who it is I'm playing against. I just remember being playing this account before. Okay, so I'm going to anchor up here with all those builders. I'm just going to go for some builders myself. Uh, okay, so Guri, hey Guri, is asking, is the play matching system working across the app and the website? Yes, it is, Guri. Uh, well, but it, the, the app and the... It's a brand new server, so you have to go to play.bagamangalaxy.com, which we haven't really, we haven't really done any marketing for the web version yet. We've just launched the app. It's kind of a soft uh, release because there's so many things you don't really know uh, in the test environment that you don't know until you actually let it free and uh, let real users come in and play. So right now we're just gathering information. And, uh, and basically optimizing the app every week. Oh, that was a lucky roll for my opponent there. I need to bottom up here. Okay, also pretty good. Oh, he's probably gonna double me here. Can we take this in a three point match? Yeah, there's the double. I don't think we can take it. Money game maybe, but not in a three point match. I'm gonna let it go. You're gonna get this chat message. <laughs> We have these nice new click chat functionality. So rather than texting, uh, we used to just let, do like uh, one click messages or or like emojis. And we're gonna add, keep adding them as we go along. Um, the reason is that when we go out to the broad mainstream, we can't have text chat. I mean, we're already getting a couple of emails every single day about abusive ch uh, users writing all kinds of stuff in the chat messages. So imagine if we get a million users on Bagaman Galaxy, how many emails we would get. Ooh, nice. So we just decided to go with the with the click chat. 
instead. And it's quite nice, actually, also much faster. It's not really good on the mobile to write text messages, so the click chat is very mobile friendly. Okay, I have to remember to double aggressively here because we're in a three point match. Okay, let's do some questions while I play. Uh, okay, so it's ha it's Ham Sepiol playing. It's me. Ah, that's the that's the nickname. It's pronounced Ham Sepiol, and it's Matthew Adrian. Hey Matthew, uh, am I cubing here? Ah, it's a little bit early. Not too far from it though. Uh, really, am I leaving the anger? Okay, I'm leaving the anger. <laughs> um, okay, more questions. Uh, FM Backgammon, our beloved partners from Istanbul and co-sponsors of the World Championship is watching. Graham Turner, the app on Android doesn't allow me to buy, buy coins, it just keeps buffering. Okay, uh, Graham, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, I should double here, I think. Or should I? No. One more time. Uh, the Android version is a little bit buggy still, so we, 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 we're working on it. Literally every day, our developer team is improving the app, and about once a week, we release all the new updates with new features or fixing issues. So the app is just improving so much every single week, and it's already getting better and better. Uh, it's already much better than it was when it just uh, launched. Okay, what am I doing here? Uh, am I just doing this? No. I don't know. Oof, 21 seconds left. It's speed. <laughs> um, the backgammon is beautiful, says, I found that the performance rating, median error rate, is not updating. Actually, we had a small bug in that, uh, in the medium error rate calculation uh, this week, and we're fixing it. So hopefully by tomorrow it will be fixed. Uh... Yeah, then we have a comment about Daphne Deuce saying something about the Auth0. We're using a technology called Auth0 to uh, log in and keep uh, all the user accounts safe. And uh, it should make the whole login process much faster and safer. Um, but in the beginning, it wasn't really working that well. I think it works a lot better now. But again, we're trying to improve that the, the login process to make it smoother, especially like the very first time you log in. Um, Ricardo Mena asks uh, if there's a way to slow down the graphics of the opponent's moves. Actually, right now we are working on showing your opponent's moves in real time. And hopefully within the next three, four weeks, we will have uh, opponent's real time movements uh, in the app as well. That gonna, that's going to improve the user experience a lot. So you would be able to see in real time when the user moves his checkers back and forth. Oh wow, look at this. Double five, uh, one five. Uh, huh. Okay, let's go for it. I wasn't really sure that it could be that 13 to 8 would be better if it was a lot less shots, but let's see. I'm trying to counter prime my opponent here let's do it like this let's try to keep him back behind my prime it's working and we do have a timing advantage here that's not good that's horrible actually we want him to crunch okay I'm gonna play like this maximizing outfield control okay the deuce is not good at least he has to crunch okay guys I'm just gonna finish this uh, this <laughs> this game because I'm short on time before I look over at the chat to see your questions. Is this a double? No, it's not. Okay, let's see if he crunches to a three-point board. Then I probably have a double. Okay, I'm lucky he doesn't escape. Now I really need to enter. It's not a double yet. Ooh, that's nice. Wow, that's super nice. And I get to block his 6-5. Okay. Uh... I'm killing his gammons by doubling. I think I have to double here. What markets losers do I have? I think I might have already lost my market, who knows. But I think making the 9 or 7... How do I play this? I 
I could make the seven. Oh, I'm more, I want to hit. I'm not going to make the seven point. I want to hit. I'm not going to give him the chance to roll a six. This was tricky, though. Okay, now it's looking good. Now it's looking really good. Unfortunately, it's going to be difficult to win a gammon in this game. Because he only has... I, but basically, I need to fish for more checkers to win a gammon. And I'm going to slot my... I'm going to roll my 6 prime here. Slot it from the rear. If I can get a 4 or a small number to... Okay. Okay, guys, I'm just I just have to finish this game before I can review your questions. <laughs> uh, I can see Big John says that he wish he could log in with his old Vagamon Galaxy account so he could keep his rating. Well, we made a brand new rating system and a rate new rating formula. And given the fact that it's a brand new server, we, we didn't see a good argument for transferring the old accounts because what if the new rating system converges to some to some completely different values and the difference is that uh, in the new app you will always get rating points if you win the game but we still include the error rate uh, instead of being a rating draw if you uh, win but play worse now you just win half the amount of rating points and if you win both the error rate and the match, then you win the full amount of rating points. So that's the difference between the old and the new rating system. I kind of like the old rating system, but I also think that the new system is better, uh, especially for the mainstream. Our goal is to get 1 million downloads. So uh, we have to have a rating system that doesn't confuse the amateur users. Okay, by the way, look at this. I can just click on the tray and then uh, it drags off two checkers. Again, oh, this one is not because this is a double. And we also have the feature of just clicking on a point. That's also a new feature. If you can make a point, for instance, here I can make the deuce point. So I just single click on the deuce point and boom, I make the deuce point. But of course, I got to take a checker off. Uh, but that's nice. That's a really nice feature. I'm already addicted to this feature. So I went to play a match on the old uh, website uh, the other day and I kept clicking on points to make them. <laughs> and uh, that that's a really good feature. Click on points to make them. Like for instance here, I think I just have to make the deuce point. I have to remember, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot that uh, we're playing, oh, you know what? I'm going to make the big split. I'm playing gammon save here. So I kind of want to get the anchor. I want the... Okay, that's not good. That means that he actually can win a gammon here. <laughs> oh, oh, he's going to blitz attack. And I really need to anchor up. Oh, no. Uh, the only regret I have is my 6-4 opening move. Okay, he plays it aggressively. Now I'm in trouble. I'm going to lose a gammon here. Okay, let's see some questions. Uh, Sammy Wall says, Hey Mark, long time since I've turned into a live stream. We've been so busy. We've been busy with the World Championship, releasing the app. So I hopefully from the next couple of months I'm, I can do more live streams. Um, so Alan asks, Alan from Montreal by Gammon Club asks if there's a way that the users can set their own chat messages. That's a good idea, Alan. That might be a premium feature when we get the star memberships up and running. Great idea. Uh, PB asks, do you have to play with coins? If you run out, can you continue to play? Well, the idea on the app to make it more fun and to have like a game economy is that we do what a lot of games are doing, that we introduce some play coins or fun coins. We call them the galaxy coins. And the idea with the galaxy coins is that you use them as the in-game currency or it, yeah basically to to do everything in the app like uh, play games uh, and there's also a lot of gamification in it because you can accumulate these coins and the more coins you get the more fun it is because now you get to play higher stakes uh, 
Okay, good game. I lost this one, unfortunately. You get to play higher stakes games. You can play more. And when you run, you run out of coins, oh, he even outplayed me. However, the analysis settings are... Ah, okay, it's actually three ply. We have uh, private matches set to three ply and uh, rating matches set to two ply. And the reason is that we're soon going to release the star membership where you can get four ply and XG plus analysis. Uh, on your moves and then the free users will get the two ply analysis so let's just quickly quickly review here also we see the arrows look i can turn them on and off that's a new feature as well uh so here i made a mistake actually it is just better to just split with the three okay i should just go for the anchor i shouldn't be too scared here he only has nine checkers in the zone so just split here i can get trapped on the ace point in a priming battle okay and then he double here it was a big pass. Let's go to game two. Uh, okay, my opponent made a mistake here. Anger is always better than hitting loose. Basically, any point, even an outer point, is usually better than hitting loose in the opening. So I missed a cube here. Okay, so I did miss cubes all the way here. So a 36 cube, okay. And again, I missed a cube. Ah, interesting. Six to three would have been better here. Okay. I think I was slightly distracted here. I did. I do remember thinking about the cube, and I decided not to. But I guess it's like yeah, it's like a thirty millipoint mistake not to cube all. Even from the bar, it was a cube. Interesting. You gotta double so aggressively in in three point matches, and I kind of have a little prime here, and my opponent has three back checkers. Uh, okay, what happened? So the best strategy here was to block the sixes. Okay, try to get him to crunch. Here I missed the cube from the bar. Oh, <laughs> cool, huh? I'm not not a big favorite, 58%, but look at these gammons here. I kill the gammons when I double. So it kind of makes sense, and it's super volatile, this position. Okay, so I missed a cube. Uh, I did double at a good time, though, here. Very good cube. This one, okay, making the 7 was better, according to 3-ply. Okay. I was scared of giving him a six, but it's pretty good to make a five prime. And then I guess no more in game two and game three. Okay, that was just flawless play from both players. Okay, cool. Well, uh, who was it that I was playing against? It was, uh, what was his name? Uh, okay, I'll probably remember. So we have, okay, I'm going back to your chat messages here. We've got uh, Ian Terry in the chat. What's up? Um, yeah, then we have Mark K asking about his existing accounts. Again, if you can connect it to the Android app, you can't. It's a new server with a new rating system, new rating formula. Uh, Ilya. Hey, Ilya, what's up? We had a good time, me and Ilya in Monte Carlo. Ilya won the, the satellites to win an entry for the World Championship in Monte Carlo. Uh, he asked, will the real-time also be on the web version? Yes, well, I mean, the web version for the new version, yes. The old version, probably not. Uh, but with time, we're probably going to substitute the old web version as well. We're not going to kill it completely. We haven't really figured out what to do with it yet. But since we can also play on the new server, both on the Android and iPhone version and on web, it's probably natural uh, that more and more users start using the new app and we're going to uh, promote that on the web rather than the old version. Uh, Edward Collins asks if there are advantages, if any, if you're using the app or if you're playing on web browser. It's exactly the same app. The only thing is you can't buy coins yet in the web version. You have to go to your iPhone or Android to do that. Uh, oh, I have an 800 Galaxy Coin bonus here waiting for me to be collected. So I'm going to click on it. And then I got 800... Uh, coins more and now the countdown is uh, ticking from 10 more hours for my next 800 coins bonus and by the way the, we're gonna lower this bonus so it's good if you get on early and collect as many galaxy coins as you can because in a couple of months you're not going to be able to collect as many coins as you can right now so what else is new we have the stats where we have dice stats that's pretty nice we have some opening game i've been extremely lucky in the winning opening rolls uh, you have the contact games, which is basically the opening game is basically the first two roll. No, sorry, the first roll, 
Contact is everything after that, and no contact is when it's a pure race and there's no more contact. And we can see here that the average pip is actually around 8.2, what is it, 8.16 or something. And we can see where both me and my opponents are converging. I've been slightly more lucky in races so far, and contact is just the other way around. Uh, so, so that's a cool feature. Then we have this performance. Uh, stats as well we've got my coin balance i've got a lot of coins i think i'm ranked 19 or something like this in coin leaderboard at the moment we've had the rating i started playing some rating games and my rating went straight up i'm gonna play some more rating games we have this one called winning experience points so what is that well it's kind of a kind of like experience points but you only get them when you win <laughs> so that's the difference it's it's not quite a participation trophy you you actually have to win to gain uh, WXP. Um, then we have a win-loss record here, which is pretty cool. I'm at a pretty good win-loss record, I think 64%. Uh, we had a slight bug here in the in the uh, this week uh, that actually match plays was calculated as coins, but we're fixing it, and by tomorrow it's probably going to be fixed. But that's a really cool feature, uh, and the same with the with the uh, medium uh, error rate, or actually maybe it was here, maybe it was in the medium error rate that had a bug. I haven't played any seven point matches yet. Uh, I intend to, uh, maybe I did play one, but that's when we had the bug. I think he here's, this is where the stats were incorrectly counted, but we're fixing it. Uh, Ali is doing his best and hopefully by tomorrow we have this fixed. Uh, okay, so what else do we have here? Let's see some more questions. Uh, Steven Ferguson, uh, will you still add a Blunder database to the main site? Yes, we, well, we will add a Blunder database to the new version here. And that's going to be a star membership feature. So only the paying members will get that delicious feature. This name suffices asks, why no Jacobi rule in coin games? Well, we have Jacobi rule in coin games. We just don't have a, let's play a coin game actually. Maybe one of you guys can can join <laughs> Uh, we have Jacobi rule in coin we, we It's just that our analysis um, with Extreme Gammon is not completely accurate in coin games because it's a money game format, but XG doesn't know how to handle limits. And we have limits on the coin game. Probably right now one of you guys are joining the game. Uh, I think I left the waiting room just as one of you guys are joining. Let's see what happens. I have very slow internet here, by the way. It's just handling the live stream and uh, the app. <laughs> it's uh, I'm in a summer. I'm just gonna refresh because I, I uh, ah I click buy coins. My bad. Let me just log in again. Yeah, my game had already started. Oh, it's against Justin. Nice. So Justin Noel is one of the top players in the new app. He was leading. He was the first player to achieved 2000 in galaxy rating so it, he lost some rating here uh but wow what a win loss record he has that's pretty cool okay he survived my blitz and the stake and the limit in coin games are automatically set uh it's a function of oh that's a crap roll it's a function of um how much how much uh, or how many coins each of the players have and it's set to be the limit is uh, the limit is the maximum amount that the player with least coins has so right now I know that this is Justin's coin balance because I have more coins and the stake is 1 16th of that so basically we play up until 16 points uh, that's the limit so there's a risk of ruin for the player with fewer fewer coins every time you play and there's a lower limit of uh, 100 coins that's the minimum minimum uh, stake so this is heading into kind of like a priming battle even though neither of what of us have a super good prime position Uh, Nick Blazer asks if I'm playing from a sauna. <laughs> I'm actually playing from my sister's summer cabin. And that's why I don't have very good internet. I'm actually going to step up with two here. I'm doing my best with a with a SIM card 4G connection. 
Um, Andy Lee says, thanks, Mark, for the app. It's just amazing. Thanks, Andy. I appreciate it. It's only going to get better. Every single month, it's going to get greatly uh, improved. Every week, actually, we have new cool updates. Okay, so Justin doubles me here. And this is money game. Let's remember that. So this is like a level two and a half blitz formation he's got going on. But I have a pretty good counterplay here. He has a long way to go with these two guys. Uh, I think I have to take it. I, I like to take a little bit deeper in money games. Just because there's play left here. If I get him, come on. Yeah, there we go. Now there's a lot of play in this position. So even if it was a small drop, I like to play them out to try to outplay my opponent. It's a little bit scary tactics, but that's how I like to play the money games. Okay, I'm going to jump out of the... Away from being under the gun there. Okay. I mean, is that a good roll for him? I guess, but he did bury a checker. And look, he has three guys trapped now. If I get a four now, I become a huge favorite. I am actually a favorite here, I think. I think I'm a favorite here, but I need to enter. Wow, that was a market loser. One, two. <laughs> He's, that's an angry face. What do I give him here? I give him five, six. That's it. <laughs> that was a joker. I lost my market. I should have redoubled. <laughs> uh, should I give him 5-6? It's pretty big. What about just this one? And then I'm doubling next time. Unless he rolls something really well. This one leaves a double 5 actually. So this one is actually 5-6 and double 5. That's too much. That's too much. Let's leave zero shots. Oh, that's a that's a good roll. Does that keep my redouble away? It does actually, because now I'm behind in the race and he has an advanced anchor. So this is not a redouble. Okay, I'm gonna stay back with my rear guard here. Try to hit him when he comes around. Okay, so it's not a double yet because I'm still trailing in the race, but if I can just hit him, he's gonna come out, of course, with the four. Or what? I think I would come up with a four. Uh, Ian Myers asks if one will I pro will we provide more login options based on email rather than just the ones currently? Well, I mean we have Apple and Google login, and we're launched in Apple Store and Google Play Store, so we think we're pretty well covered for the mobile. But it's true that we will have web users who might not want to use this. At the moment, we that's all we have, but we might, might consider adding more login uh, methods in the future. The thing is, we're using this technology called Auth0, and it's, it's super secure, and it's very fast and easy for the users to use it to log in and out, rather than us making our own system like we had in the old, old version. By the way, I should redouble here because now I'm ahead by four pips. He has some crunch, which is critical, and he's on the bar. So let's see what he does. I'm not gonna state my opinion on this cube here because I know Justin is watching this. You're on your own, Justin. <laughs> uh, okay, Ian Myers had a second question. Is it, it never keeps you locked in? Well, it does keep you locked in as long as the cookie is still active. And if not, then sometimes it asks you please log in again and it's just that one click and then it takes one second to load and then you're in i think i would have passed here as well i think it's a drop um uh, let's see okay he outplayed me though which is annoying but i won the galaxy coins so at least i got a compensation let's see what we did wrong okay 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 so again we have the three ply analysis because this is coin game so i guess we probably i played perfectly except for the computer didn't like my take I felt like it was probably a little bit borderline, but this is bigger than I thought. If I knew it was 114, I wouldn't have taken it. But I was leaning towards the loose side here because I knew that if I could just survive the blitz, there would be so much play left in this position and chance to outplay my opponent. But after I took it, uh, Justin played flawlessly. So, so much for that hypothesis. So did I, but still, you know. Uh, and then... It was just this little six. Ah, Justin didn't hit with a six. Okay. Cool. 
uh, the arrows are such, such a nice feature. <coughs> hmm. Okay, more questions. <coughs> okay, I'm just gonna quickly scroll through questions here. I've gotten so many, and I'm trailing behind. Uh, okay, third question from Ian. The chat has many scroll pages, but we, we didn't fill them out yet. They will come. We will get more chat messages. Uh, Hamza Tayeb, do you have XG program or proprietary software for analysis? We're, we're simply buying the XG uh, um, analysis from Xtreme Gamma. Mm. <coughs> Ace Point by Gammon looks excellent. Thank you, guys. Uh, more questions. Offering an invite on iOS and cancelling it traps you on that page. Uh, that that's actually true. If you make a private game and you uh, get the invite, then you can't delete the game yet. It will auto delete after fifteen minutes. But uh, we're currently working on a function where you can just delete the private game immediately yourself. Uh, oh yeah, Matthew Adrian. That was the first opponent I had. Uh, Edward Collins, new server, new rating system. Yes. Um, Steve Pogatach, Pogatch says, have a lot of problems with touch sensitivity on iPad and lose a lot of clock time as a result. Hopefully this can be addressed. Uh, otherwise, love the app. Well, we're making a lot of improvements also in the game interface. There's many little details like when you click, do you click and release? And that's when the activation of the click uh, is... Uh, is done or is it just the first touch and there's a lot of these little details uh, that goes into the game interface and we're optimizing so many things at the moment. Um, Jorgen Jorgen asked what about closing web version should we expect that? Uh, well we will eventually uh, the new version here will also be available at web actually it is already at play.bagamangalaxy.com but it will replace the old version at bagamongalaxy.com. We will probably continue to keep the old version alive in one way or the other, but we're not really sure how it's gonna go down. Um, then we have Andreas Tsirikos ask, Hey Mark, can you please in the analysis of the moves that could be done to show more of them? I'm not sure what you mean. Do you mean like we the fact that we only show top three or top four moves? Yeah, it's but you know on a mobile phone it also looks ugly if you have thirteen moves to scroll down to and stuff. So we just did it for to simplify basically. A lot of Bagaman Galaxy's user interface, the philosophy is less is more. You know you want a simple, beautiful, clean design, and this is why we have Wilson Semilio as the art director. He's a master of this. Uh, so I, I we prefer to f show fewer moves actually. Um, okay. Edward asks, can I use this app on my desktop computer? Yes, you can on play.bagamangalaxy.com. Um, Gary Crew asks, Mark, you say that you can click on a point to make it. What if there are there's more than one way to make the point? Well, that that will not be the case. It will always just be one way to make the point with the first movements. Like if you roll a double, for instance, and you click on the point, maybe you only use two or three of the movements, and that will be moved, and then you can play the remaining one. So there's always only one way to make it, one quickest way to make it. Uh, Luis Rocha says, congratulations. The app is awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Luis. CRB says, the app is finally here. Galaxy app, yeah, we've been waiting so long because the website is not exactly that good on his phone. Star membership, what will it include and when will do you think it will be available? Uh, I think it's going to be available very soon actually, but the first feature we're going to add is higher analysis settings. So the star membership, star members can get 4ply and XG plus analysis on their moves. That's going to be the first feature. And then we're going to get the Blunder database. Then we are going to get some extra learning in the analysis uh, in the analysis mode for the star members. And we're actually going to restrict a little bit to the free members. Like, for instance, the free members are probably not going to be able to see the margin of their errors. They can still see their errors, but they're not going to be able to see the XG output of the margins of the errors. How many millipoints the blunder was. 
so we're going to make a simpler version for the free members and the star members will get the full version with all the cool features. Uh, then we have Matthew asking about the uh, limit set in a n uh, and that that was just a bug that we already fixed um, Kevin Campbell says thanks thank you Mark for covering the world championship my wife and I are avid strategy competitors in every area of our life military generals pick bagamon over chess as you probably know I didn't but that's pretty cool uh, this name suffices says to clarify my question about the Jacobi rule I took a PR hit for offering an initial cube that when it was too good but in money game right there's no Jacobi rule that couldn't happen right well you're right well the game is played with Jacobi rule it's just the XG analysis that's incorrect XG doesn't have the Jacobi rule in the analysis and it doesn't have the limits and that's the problem uh, let's do uh, let's do a rating game here uh, I'm not gonna ch choose speed that's too fast I'm gonna choose a three-pointer and let's see who joins <laughs> and we can I can hopefully do some questions while I play a three-pointer Casper uh, van Dyke asked if I'm planning we're planning to do implement consultation games with live analysis running along no I don't think we're gonna have consultation games PR doesn't matter in coin games, I don't think anyway. Oh, that's Nick Blazer, by the way. What's up, Nick? But Mark mentioned XG doesn't know how to handle limit games perfectly. Yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, I have a... Oh, Carlos Coral. I don't know who you are, Carlos, but I've seen that you are the leader in terms of winning experience points. So you've been playing a lot on the new app. You're actually the number one player in terms of experience points on the new app so what an honor to play against you sir let's have a good match here 6-4 uh, okay I lost my count here uh, okay so Nick Blazer is saying that it was a sizable pass on plus plus that I took against Justin Noel okay oh by the way this might be a slotting play because when your opponent has an anchor on your four point, slotting plays become much better because now he has to break that anchor. I actually like this play. And there's also this play. But I'm up in the race. You know what? Let me just keep it simple. I'm up in the race 13 pips. Uh, yeah, okay, so some discussion about my bad take. <laughs> okay. Three five. Okay, I'm gonna make my ten point. Nice blocking. Gary Crew says so. Everybody starts with fifteen hundred rating points with the app. Yes, everybody starts from brand new rating at fifteen hundred. So it's fair and square. And by the way, guys, you need to log in and get an account because all the good usernames will be taken soon. So you can't change your username ever. So make sure that you get a cool username and go in and get your account. Uh, it's not quite a double yet, I think. Okay, I need freedom. Let me just play the four first. Should I hit with the five? It's too many numbers. Let's go here, and then we have a clear double next time if we don't get hit. We do get hit, and then we have to start fighting again. I'm going to come out. We're way ahead in the race, so I'm going to fight for freedom. That's a hit, but let's see if we can re-hit him with a 7. Oh. I'm going to make this face. I'm going to make this face. Okay. We're still up in the race, but we're outboarded, so we need to play safe. Flag Bentler says, Grats on the new app mark and team. Well done. Thanks, Frederick. Appreciate it. 5 4. Oh. <laughs> um, what am I going to do with this? I need to play safe and I don't want too many liabilities in my inner board. Is that the move? Yeah, because I can still play sixes to, to run. I'm going to run with my sixes. Ah. Uh, Okay, 
Oh, I have so many questions. I have to, I'm lagging behind. Okay. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. I don't want to leave a shot. I'm going to bury. Uh, so Ricky Folio asked if he can take a username with uppercase letters. No, we decided to go all lowercase. Just to keep it simple. Uh, will it be... Backaholic asks, will it be possible for free members to see if it's a mistake or a blunder? Yes, they will, but they're not going to see the XG uh, margin. So the actual XG numbers, you won't see it, but you're still going to see the red or yellow icon. I got a little lucky here, but I can't double. Oh, what a roll. What a roll. Okay, this is a cube. <laughs> this is a juicy cube. What a fun cube. I mean, in a normal holding game, this would be such an easy take. And it might also be here, actually, It'd be a take. But but uh, he had so many men back. Ah, I should play gammon safe. I should split with the back checkers here. It's a three-point match. But Carlos, he passed that cube quite quick. I thought it was tricky, to be honest. I think it's a pass, but I'm not sure. What about the five here? Do I want to come out in front of the stacked six point so he can use his sixes to unstack and hit? Or do I want to strip my midpoint? That's not too good. I don't really love to come out, but I don't want to strip my midpoint, so I'm coming out. Uh... Okay, for one, I got a hit. So we have SJS Photography saying he found a couple of bugs in the Android version. That's true. We're aware and we are uh, working on solving them. Uh, Fed says, any plans for AI games? I think you mean playing against the computer. Uh, that's also a feature that's coming. We might not make it in 2022, but definitely 2023. Uh, SJS photography asked if we can bear off on the left because his wife prefers to bear off, bear off on the left. Fair enough. That's a legit request. <laughs> uh, we might. We might. There is a reason for we're trying to uh, unify uh, everything. Graphics, colors, direction. So every time anybody posts something about uh Bagaman galaxy on social media they would immediately identify the galaxy design that's why we didn't have that feature but at some point maybe it's it's a good feature to get to be able to bear off to the other side if you pre prefer to do so uh what about this this is tricky I'm down in the race, so I don't really want to... But making the ace is also super bad. This is the two first. Making the ace. Or just coming out. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. It feels so weak to make the ace point here when I'm so far behind in the race. Okay, now we're playing a mutual holding game. This is not bad. Uh, Steve Holm says that his the app doesn't work on his iPad. Well, it should. So I'm not sure what's going on. You could try to delete your cookies and browser history. There's a connection there. It might help. Otherwise, try to write us, Stephen, on uh, on the support uh, on, for instance, on on our Bagaman Galaxy's Facebook Messenger. Maybe. Hussein or myself can help uh, assist you get the app up and running. Okay, there's a lot of crunch there, but I can never double, of course. Uh, I'm going to slot some points to make the inner board as fast as possible. Okay, I'm going to make my inner board if I can. Now I'm not scared of getting hit. So I could just make the ace there. What about the six? Is it just this one? I think it's just this one. 
five four. Okay. I still cannot. Okay, I'm building a prime here. I'm trying to contain because I'm behind in the race, and I want to attack the moment he lets go of that uh, of that anger there. Okay, that's a pretty good roll. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's another pretty good roll. Unless he anchors, he does. Okay. Six one. Ah, oh, this is tricky. I don't want to give up my outfield control. Then I have to play this. Okay, this is nice. This is nice. I can't double because, I mean, he just need 25% winning chances to take. And I have a little bit of gammon here. If I can get really lucky, I could win a gammon. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. That's nice. Okay, now I could potentially double, actually. There's not that much gammon in this because I have 40% gammon if I manage to close out both checkers. I think this is a double. He has a take point of 25% here. Whoa, he passed that quickly. So he thinks he's way below 24, 25%. Was it too good? It felt like I did squeeze him off some equity by doubling. Oh, anyway. Uh, nice, 4 1. Look, I'm trying to catch up on your questions. Uh, what criteria does the app has to choose players? Is it random? Is it galaxy rating based? Good question, Peter. Actually, we are uh, we have an algorithm that matches you up against uh, how many coins you have. So that uh, at the moment we don't have that many users, but it will come. Oh, what about this one? This is tricky. So that's the three. What about the four? Am I hitting or? Ha! I think I'm hitting. Let's see, am I covering? That's also pretty solid. I'm covering. Um, so when we will, when we get more and more users, every 15 seconds we start new matches, and in the waiting room, the more players that are gathering in those 15 seconds, we match them up against how many uh, coins you have. Oh, that's a horrible roll. That's a horrible roll. What about this move? Oh, we're gonna get hit. Uh, yeah, so it's it's matched up to... Co but right now we have... I think we have like 4,000 downloads or something like this. So we, And I don't know, a couple of thousand matches a day. So we don't have that many players. So when you enter the play waiting room, you typically you have to wait a little bit. And then it basically just matches you up with the first one who gets there. But it's supposed to match it up against uh, someone with uh, equal uh, galaxy coin balance. What about this? This goes down. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. Feels nice to get this one out. No, let's just come down with two. Maybe I should go for freedom there. Uh, what more questions? Oh, that's nice. What am I gonna do here? I would like to make my remake my six point. <laughs> Bagaholic says, Mark, I placed an order for the Monte Carlo Compris port this evening. Do you know when it will be ready? Thank you for making Bagamon great again. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, oh, the, the Monte Carlo Grand Prix board is so nice. I love that board. Such a nice board. <sighs> is that my move? What a soggy move. And I only have 25 seconds left. Three and two. Uh... Four two. I could. Oh, I could double hit, but I just have to win this game. Ah, double hitting is just. This is too crazy. I'm down in the race. Ah, let me play it slow. I don't need a gammon to win. Uh. 
Ian Meyer says he had six questions that I chose to skip. Can we DM on Twitter? I'm sorry, Ian. Can you repost them? Then I'll try to look. It's not on purpose that I'm skipping them. It's just that it's a little bit difficult to play and oh, what was this? To play and answer questions at the same time. Three six coming out for freedom and outfield control. My prime is pretty good. I bl keep blocking his sixes. What I really want to do is remake my seven or six point. I don't know what I'm doing here. This is tricky. Okay, not bad. There you go. And I'm going to go for the prime here. I'm going to stay slotted. Oh, that sucks. And I only have uh, 20 seconds left on the clock. Difficult to play backgammon and answer questions. <laughs> Carlos Goral. It's not quite over yet, Carlos. I could still win this game, actually. I have a pr Look at this. There's my chance. Oh, mother. Oh. I get another chance. I get another chance. <laughs> yeah, he cannot cover it. Carlos, there's nothing you can do. I, I miss it again. Can I get another chance? No. Smash the like button, guys. We only have 31 likes. That's not enough. That's not enough. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this is a three-pointer. We have stake and rating games. We didn't have that in the first version when we just came out. And then we realized that it was actually boring. You know, we it's actually a good thing to have stake on uh, rating games as well. It's just more fun. And a lot of people were saying this to us. So we quickly changed that... Uh, design feature and now we have uh, coins at stake in rating games as well so we can see here we're playing for 3800 uh, galaxy coins now it's double match point let's split okay six five nice Six one. That's also nice. I th I was just about to say that I'm a favorite now, but after this top four, I'm not exactly sure if I am. Uh, okay. I think the, the he misplayed the last four. I think he has to come out here to my nine point. Now I'm gonna hit loose. Very even game this one so far. Okay. I'm gonna keep my midpoint. Burgers ask if we can add more board colors soon. Uh, let me see. I'm letting go of the, the midpoint to keep flexibility. Uh, board colors. Well, board colors and board variations is actually going to be a uh, an achievement. So we're going to have achievements. At least that's the plan. Where uh, when you achieve something super cool like winning a lot of coins or achieving a high rating then you're gonna win the board colors the new boards and the same with goes with avatars right now we only have the astronaut we have more coming very soon ah uh, should we do like this oh this is a big decision i think we should i think we should go for it wow he misses you miss I wasn't exactly sure about the ace because even though you split with the three. Oh, <laughs> what a crappy roll. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. No mercy. Let's see how he plays it. He can misplay this one. He can misplay it. Please misplay it. I know what the right move is. It's a clear play. No, he found the best play. Hidden cover. Oh, that sucked. Uh, okay, so Gas Owen says, so the coins on app aren't the same as coined on web version. 
i.e. no monetary value. Can we play for money on the app? That's correct, Gas. Uh, it's not the mind skills coins that's running on the old version. The, the new app coins are Galaxy coins and it's just an in-game currency for all the stuff that goes on in the app. It, it doesn't have any real monetary value. They're still pretty nice to have though because you're going to be able to buy stuff with them in the app. Um, and you're going to be able to get achievements and stuff which then enables you to get new stuff like boards and avatars and stuff. Okay, I'm losing this game. I don't even know why I'm continuing. Uh, Ian Myers says, add friends and matchups in app versus user code. Uh, yeah, so that's true. Uh, when you play with friends, we chose to just do like Lightchest does, which is just to create a four-digit code and then you can distribute that to your friend via WhatsApp, Messenger, email, whatever you want to do. Um, so it's true that we could also uh, do it by having a friend system on, on the side. It's just a much more heavy development task to do it that way, where the way we chose is very flexible, very user-friendly, and very simple to create. So it didn't take us a long time. Uh... <laughs> okay, so I was right about the take here. But I was wrong about the double. I thought it was a double. And apparently it's not even a double. It's a no double. So I got a blunder here. But my opponent passed it. So it was a great double after all. And that was the only mistake in game one. What do we have? Okay, this one. Okay, two down. Strip the midpoint. Was better. I did feel that it was qu quite nasty to come out here. Uh, what did I do? Since I played such a high error rate. Okay. Okay, so apparently, three ply prefers to keep or to yeah to keep the midpoint and break the eight. I know here in this position, it's kind of like a squeeze play position. You want him to run off the anchor, so you want to build in a board. You don't really need a prime because it's impossible to build an outer prime that's effective. But uh, I still like my eight point here, but I guess it's annoying to leave him an 8 that hits on the 13 point. I'm surprised that it's such a big mistake though to make my play. But okay, cool. I see now that it actually does look quite good to just break the 8 point and go for inner board points. This one was tricky. Okay, so the ace was slightly better to slide over to the 14, minimizing contact zone by one pip, but you get to keep the deuce point instead of the ace point. Fair enough. Okay, ah, this was where my high PR came from. He had way less winning chances than I instinct instinctively thought. I thought I was getting much more fold equity than 14.7%. And I actually also had more gammon chances than I thought, because I know that I'm winning 40% gammon if I close out both checkers. But here I'm actually winning almost 30%, which means that it's very likely that I'm going to close out both checkers. <laughs> more likely than I thought. Okay. Okay. Well, it is a crunch position and it's horrible to have a crunch position. So maybe this one is one of those where it, it's just such a big pass that it's actually too good. That's how you can, it's kind of like the reverse Wolsey's law. Uh, I'm just focusing on my mistakes here. This one, okay. Okay, this one was better not to leave a shot. Less pure. But okay, fair enough. This one, I should have gone for freedom. Yeah, it felt weird to be trapped with four guys deep. Like there's a chance you're gonna crunch. So the computer just wants to come out with a six and then down with a five. Good play. This one was difficult. This one was just difficult. You just wanna run all the way. Okay. Ah, oh, tricky game. Okay, the double hit was better. I would have made the double hit in money game, no doubt about it. But at this game where I don't need a gammon to win. But at the same time, I also don't care about losing a gammon because he's three away, Crawford. Okay, fair enough. Cool play. I did see it though, but I was kind of in time trouble here. This one was difficult. So apparently it's better to play this one and keep the blood here. 
in front of the strip midpoint and then you lose fewer pips when you get hit. I think I would have found this play if I had more time actually. And then I had a blunder here. What's this blunder? Oh, this is difficult. So you want to slot the six point. Okay. Oh, tough play. Such an unorthodox prime versus prime position. Okay. It's not good to put that checker up on the three point. You're wasting a checker and you really need a prime to win this game. I guess that was it. Very difficult game, this one. It all began with my double one. Oh yeah, here he misplayed. I think I mentioned it uh, during the match. I, he definitely misplayed this one. He's up in the race, so he needs to go for freedom. And then my opponent made some mistakes. I made one mistake here. Okay, pay later was better. Pay later was better. Okay, cool. Um, not so beautiful PR. What else? So we played a rating game. We played a friend. Uh, we played a coin game against just a null. I'm going to do one more coin game here. Let's just check out the leaderboard. We have coins. We have rating. We have winning experience. So we look at this. Carlos Carol, Coral. Carlos Coral is clearly number one in the in the winning experience points. Rating. We have shot by Justin. Just a null. He fell down a little bit. And now it's De Niro, 81 being the number one guy and right now you can't click on the users but that's a feature coming soon that you'll be able to click on the users here in the leaderboards because you want to check out their profiles right uh, and then the coins here as well we already have some people with 400 or more 400,000 coins that's pretty good and then the second place is spes with 200,000 203,000 I'm down at number 21 with 45 uh, let's do another coin game. Let's see who joins. And then we have a question from Kakla Östjök. Tournaments, maybe. It could be an arena system or Swiss system. Yeah, tournaments are pretty cool. We do have tournaments in the old app on the web. So we have that, uh, that whole system built. Um, it's just that tournaments are quite heavy. It's a lot of matches that start at the same time, which is a little bit heavy for the server. It's a lot of logic, and most people don't really have time to play tournaments anyway. They prefer to just come in and out and play whenever they want. Uh, so tournaments are actually uh, not as frequently used as you would think. It's not really the most important feature. But it would be cool to have some tournaments uh, on the new app as well. Let's slot here. Okay, so I'm playing against Chilov Govnak. Okay, from Sweden. Doesn't have a particularly good record here, but he has you know, 1494. Okay, um, double fours. So am I ahead in the race here? I'm up three pips, so it's a very close race. So actually I'm gonna... <sighs> I'm gonna play it like this, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not in a rush to run from the anchor unless I'm up in the race, and I'm not. I'm not up in the race. This is the first two. I know that I'm not in a hurry to run from that anchor, but I'm kind of running out of spares. Let me stay back. Gary Crew. Uh, Gary Crew asks uh, if there's an option to play one point matches at the moment no only single games that's what I'm playing now the coin games which is basically money game format but with the galaxy coins that's a single game uh, the, the difference is just that you play with a doubling cube will we make one point matches probably yes probably we will but uh, we also want to keep things simple um, 11 pips up so if you know your holding game references you know that that's almost enough but not quite okay look at the two blots can I do anything here can I play fancy do something like this or do I have to break I think I can play some fancy move here 3-1 it's only 3-2 and double 3 
where he's going to be able to hit and cover both. So I'm going to stay flexible here. Freeman Edwards asks if I'm attending the UK BGF tournament coming up September 2nd. I hope so, actually, because Begamma Galaxy is sponsoring the event uh, with two beautiful boards. Oh, is this a double? 13 pips. We're getting close. But that blot there is a little bit annoying because that means if I roll it double two, for instance. I I can still move it. Oh, no, my son is coming. Hi, Frank. <laughs> my son is breaking into the room. Okay, let's do finish this match and then I'm going to wrap up this live stream. If there's any more questions, it's now or never. Ah, not never. I'm probably going to do this again and you can always, anybody can always just write me on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Uh, do I need inner board here? Yes, I do, because look, if he rolls a 6-1. So I'm going to make some inner board. 5-1. Can be played. Give me a double. Uh, CP asks, oh, look at this double five. Beautiful. That was my market loser. That's why I doubled. Uh, CP asks, what mathematical method do you use to make sure the dice are random? We're just using one of the conventional r random number generators to generate the dice. And you have the dice statistics available now in the app. So it's pretty obvious that they behave as random dice should behave. 6-1. This is a lock. This is gin position. Gary Crew asks if we get 1500 in rating points and 1000 galaxy coins. That's a new, when you create an account, that's what you get. And, and Alexandro Pascu writes, uh, it's not just De Niro 81, it was almost always, I don't get it. I don't, and then lots of laughing smiles. I don't, I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Uh, okay, so Ian Meyer says, have you tried to enter your birthday? It's impossible. Well, yeah, you have to click on the year and then you choose the year first and then you go in the calendar. I agree that calendar is horrible. We're going to change it to choose the birthday. But it's only once, right? You just have to do it once. Um, and then the second question is, so hope to follow chess.com model with unlimited games, charge for analysis, uh, three lock button in corner, hard to click, four log out every day, chess.com keeps, okay, yeah. Uh, can you log in with your, Brian Comforto ask if you can log in with your current Galaxy account. No, this is a new server and a new account, so you can't. Uh, Ian Myers says home screen glitches and slide around the screen. Okay, I'm not sure I've seen that one being reported, Ian. If you can make a screen recorded video and send us, we'll have a look. Uh, Gary Crew asks, how's my son? Is he a footballer or a backgammon player? I hope that he's going to be both. But let's see, <laughs> he's only one year and 11 months. So he doesn't really understand anything yet. He's just running around and screaming and climbing everything. For him, the everything is just a climbing uh, challenge. <laughs> um, okay, guys, I think this is it for now. Oh, I ended up with a good PR here. What a good way to end this live stream. Uh, winning some coins, playing basically flawless. And Vita says, Mark, thank you for the game from Che Love Gavnak. Okay, so I guess that was the my opponent. You're welcome. Well played as well. You played good. Uh, Alexander Pesco says, I meant Justin was number one for five, six days. And I am and was more than 15. Ah, Alexandru. 
you are the Nero 81. Very good. Thank you very much. Now I know. Congratulations. Yeah. Justin was the first one to reach uh, 21, 2000 in Galaxy Racing. I guess you're the first one to reach 2100, right? Uh, let's see. Let's go out here in the leaderboard rating. De Niro. Oh, yes. So, Alexandro, you're the first one to achieve 2100. I'm coming for you. I'm going to start playing more rating games. But well done, man. Really well done. Uh, okay, smash the like button. Yeah, let's smash the like button, guys. And let's wrap up this stream. Thanks for watching. I hope you got your questions answered. Or if not, you can always write us on support at pagamagalaxy.com or write us on Facebook or my personal Instagram or whatever. Uh, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the app. And remember, we're going to keep improving this app week by week. It's going to be cooler and better. It's more optimized. Uh, we're soon going to have the real-time movements, real movements of our opponents. And uh, we're going to keep adding cool features to this app. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the app. And uh, remember to smash the like button.